It is a big day for two young ospreys and for dedicated Cornell staffers monitoring them. The adult birds, Olin and Olive, built their nest on a tall light pole above the soccer field on Game Farm Road, the first time anyone can remember ospreys nesting on campus. Olive laid two eggs, both hatched, and both offspring take to the air today, August 8th. The first youngster launched just before 8 a.m., looping around the field, closely watched by Olive, before making a pit stop back at the nest. And then mom came over and flew and checked it out. Everything was okay, and then she flew back to her pole. And then within the, the next two hours from then, uh, that chick flew nine, nine more times. More time. Nine more times. A couple of times it flew around the pole, over its sibling. Come on, let's go flying. The Osprey family has been closely watched by Cindy and Carl Sedlicek and by Suzanne and William Horning. They have devoted many hours over many days to the task, passing along the latest news to legions of fans, often live streaming over a smartphone. The second young Osprey fledges three hours after the first. Both wind up perched on a light pole across from the nest, guarded by Dad Olin. Uh, after Chick One made several flights around, it finally actually landed on another pole um, other than the nest pole, and we think that was the impetus for Chick Two to actually make its flight. The parent birds have had their work cut out for them, chasing away harassing gulls, hawks, and other ospreys, and catching fish from nearby creeks to keep their young ones fed. Once the young ospreys learn to fish, they and their parents will migrate. But adult birds are tightly bonded to their nesting site. So Osprey fans will be watching for Olive and Olin again next spring.